Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about distance, rate, time, word problems. So, if I was given this word problem, Josie left the airport and traveled toward the mountains. Kayla left 2.1 hours later, traveling 35 miles per hour faster in an effort to catch up to him. After 1.2 hours, Kayla finally caught up. Find Josie's average speed. Okay. So we have two formulas I'm going to kind of put together here. Okay. We have the distance of Josie. Okay. Or, yeah, let's do uh, Josie's first. Or actually, let's do Kayla's first. So distance for Kayla. This is Kayla. Is equal to the rate of Kayla's times Kayla's time. And the distance for Josie, put it right here, for Josie, flip it around the other way, is the rate for Josie times the time for Josie. Okay? And we know the overall distance between the two, dk and dj, will be the same. So, oh, this is Josie. So we can eventually, we're going to set them just equal to each other. Now, how can we write this? In, because they're written in terms, or they're explained in terms of each other. So Kayla's rate, they said Kayla was traveling 35 miles per hour faster than Josie. So her rate is 35 plus the rate of Josie's, r times j. And she traveled for a total, okay, after 1.2 hours. So she traveled 1.2 hours before she caught up to him. Josie, though, on the other hand, we don't know Josie's rate, but Josie traveled a total of 2.1 hours plus one, the 1. Point, so he was traveling 2.1 hours, and then Kayla left and then caught up to him plus that 1.2 hours that she drove. I'm going to put a plus sign there. And of course, I didn't give myself enough room, so I rewrite that. So write it as one statement here. We have 2.1 plus 1.2 hours. Okay? So he was traveling 2.1 2 hours, then Kayla left, and after 1.2 hours, she caught them. That's when they covered the same ground. So now we want to solve for r of j, the rate at which Josie was traveling, or his speed, right? So we need to add these two up. So we have r times j, 2.1 plus 1.2 is, excuse me, 3.3 uh, equals, okay, here we distribute the 1.2 hours, 35 times 1.2 is 42 plus 1.2 times rj, or r sub j is 1.2 rj, okay? So rewriting this. So it kind of matches up with variables. 3.3 rj equals 42 plus 1.2 rj. I'm going to subtract a 1.2 times rj to both sides here. And 3.3 minus 1.2 comes out to be a 2.1 rj. That's equal to 42 here. Then I need to divide by a 2.1 to both sides, and that 2.1's cancel, giving me rj by itself, the rate at which Josie's traveling, and 42 divided by 2.1 is 20. So we have 20 miles per hour, and that is the rate at which Josie's average speed. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com.